Good morning, everybody. This is Paul Welburn, and uh, well, actually, I should say I'm Paul Welburn, and this is Faith Baptist Sunday School, and uh, this is a view of my backyard. No, it's not a view of my backyard. Um, this is actually a view of uh, the side yard, I should say. But uh, this is, uh, if you guys have the most recent copy of Our State Magazine, it's uh, the January edition is featuring snow that we got to see this week. So <laughs> thankful. We finally got to see some snow down here, and the streets were pretty good. They really were. Friday night was a little bit of a, a, a hazard coming back from the barbecue center, but thankfully the uh, four-wheel drive worked in the, uh, the old Tahoe, so <laughs> thankful for that. But uh, it's a beautiful day. It's sunny. It's cold, and uh, we're, we're making it so far in 2021. You can see uh, Beauregard over my uh, shoulder here and uh, a little bit of coffee. But... Um, Anyway, I want to welcome everybody to um, 2021, and we are looking forward to Bible study today. We're going to be wrapping up the book of Psalms, and next week we're actually looking at Jeremiah. It's Sanctity of Life Sunday, so Jeremiah is going to be the chapter for that, the, the passage. But for today, book of Psalms, wrapping it up, we've been looking at it, and a little bit of context. Psalm 31 was written probably during the time whenever Absalom had taken part of the kingdom away from David. And he was pretty discouraged, and he was looking at, um, right now, just this is, in, in David's life, things seem kind of hopeless and, and chaotic, and um, he wasn't sure really the next steps. And so he had to look at the, uh, the Torah, had to look at um, uh, basically the promises that God had made to him. He didn't have the Bible like we do now, I mean, he obviously did not have the New Testament, but David had to look at God's promises from uh, especially looking at past promises made to Abraham and Moses and how the people were, were taken out of um, Egypt and um, so anyway let's look at Psalm 31 verses 1 through 2 Lord I seek refuge in you let me never be disgraced save me by your righteousness listen closely to me rescue me quickly be a rock of refuge for me a mountain fortress to save me. And, you know, you think about times in our lives, when do things get us down? When do we face discouragement? And not necessarily talking about um, clinical depression, but when are times whenever we face depression? And a lot of times after the holidays, I mentioned it last week, we do face some, some difficult times. Um, keep the Flippin family in prayer. Um, F-L-I-P-P-E-N is their last name. Um, they lost a son this week, and he was part of the youth group way back whenever I worked with the youth at Faith Baptist, Stephen Flippin. So keep them in prayer. It, it's uh, different circumstances, different things happen in our lives that can shake us, can, can somewhat derail us to where we are just simply left with, with questions. And it's okay. God has expressed in his word it's okay to, to question God. You look at Job. And Job had times of questioning. He really did. He had times of doubt, anger, frustration. And I think as Christians, a lot of times we are trapped in the feelings of, oh, if I'm angry, then it means I don't have enough faith. Or if I'm struggling with something, then it means I have a lack of faith. It tends to come back to a lack of faith that Christians struggle with. And then we, then we get even more down because we're thinking we don't have enough faith. So, you know, we're not really a good Christian. We're, where God is basically saying, Whatever is happening, whatever times you're going through, I'm here and I have mercy. I was, I was talking to somebody this week. Their child is struggling uh, with some grades and things, and uh, we talked about just having a, a, a motherly love and being there for the child whenever they go through tough times, no matter what, having that love for the child. And so, you know, we face those times, and we as friends or parents or or however, respond to others with love and encouragement during times of discouragement, where does that come from? And that comes from a created desire in us to help others that is a mirror of how God helps us. And what David is doing is he's, he's saying verbally, he's, he's speaking it out loud, I seek refuge in you, Lord. I am discouraged right now. My own child has basically taken the throne and has, come, has came after me. And, you know, one of his favorites, he, he loved Absalom. He bragged on him. Absalom, if you remember, had really thick hair, 
And uh, in the Bible, it talks about how, you know, his hair would grow uh, a certain length each year and that sort of thing. And, and so, but, you know, he was, he was a strong guy. He was talented. David was proud of him. And then there's this huge family rift. And so if you look at Psalm 31, verses 3 through 4, For you are my, are my rock and fortress. You lead and guide me for your name's sake. You will free me from the net that is secretly set for me. For you are my refuge. No matter who you are right now, as far as background or affiliation or whatever, look to Scripture, look to God as your refuge. And again, we look at Old Testament, and we know through belief and faith in Jesus Christ, our Savior, we can, we can look at these promises that were given, given to um, people in the Old Testament, and we can see the life that they, they lived and how... You know, David, he was flawed, but his ultimate goal was to seek refuge in God, even whenever he didn't feel like it. This morning I was talking to Joseph, and he said, how do you feel? And I said, I feel okay. And uh, he was kind of picking at me because we, we talked about, um, you know, how tired are you to go out and drive or do things like that. And he said, you know, and, and so, um, you know, a lot of times we do base how, how do we feel. And uh, I'll be honest, right now, um, I'm tired. It's, it's, work has been really tough. Uh, obviously, what's happening right now in the, in, in the news is really uh, discouraging. It's kind of a mess. And uh, again, no matter what affiliation you are, it's a mess. And uh, it's, it's tough. And seeing beyond this right now is it's, it's a challenge. But we have to. And we have to look at people have faced challenges throughout history, and they've made it. Even in our current history, we look at things 100 years ago, and people made it through that time period, or during uh, polio, or during wars, and things like that, that you've seen. And so, I think God gives us truly that hope to be strong, and ultimately, you know, you look at this, it's just temporary, it really is, just like the snow that's melting right now in front of me. Um, life here on earth is temporary. If you've trusted in Christ as Savior, you have the ultimate hope, which is in heaven. And that's our final, tr true, where we are headed, um, our, our point of destination. Psalm 31, verses 5 through 8. Into your hands I entrust my spirit. You have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. I hate those who are devoted to worthless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in your faithful love because you have seen my affliction. You know the troubles of my soul and have not handed me over to the enemy. Sorry, I bumped the camera just then, my foot. You know the troubles of my soul. You have not handed me over to the enemy. You have set my feet in a spacious place. I was, uh, I was trying to walk uh, in the garage, there was a car that was parked too close to the wall. If, you're, if you've ever parked too close to the wall and tried to squeeze through or open the door and do, you know, and, and I thought, okay, and my, and my shoe size is uh, size 11. Uh, not huge, but, you know, my feet. And so, anyway, I, I had to kind of turn sideways and kind of, kind of scoot, scoot through. And uh, anyway, I thought about that. You have set my feet in a spacious place. You don't have to turn sideways or, or, or you know, you're not bound in. You can truly, uh, and what David is saying, really, you've give, given me uh, an open space to relax. I'm not tensed up. I'm calm. I'm relaxing. Um, and so really, think, you know, what, and, hey, you know, maybe you haven't watched the news much this week, and that's good. Just, just take, a, take a break. It's okay. Um, and uh, maybe there's things right now that are affecting you. Um, you need new tires on your vehicle, and tires are expensive, and, you know, it's, okay, where do I get the finances, finances to do that? Maybe you have a 16- uh, a or 17-year-old year old that just got their license, and you're having to say, okay, I need to set them free and let them drive, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a challenge. Or just whatever you're facing this week. Um, the loss of a loved one, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so, Psalm, Psalm 31, remember that, hold on to that scripture. Next week we're going to look at Jeremiah. We are created by God 
I truly believe that with all my heart that we are created. Agnostics and atheists um, can look at cre like creation and they can see design and some may say well that design happened over time and and, and basically it, it formed itself which I, I don't see that. I, I see design as being design itself, a master creator. I truly believe that with all my heart. I really do. Um, I'm, I'm a skeptic and I have doubts sometimes about some things and I struggle, but creation is one thing where I look at it and I, I can see, okay, there's design. So Jeremiah will be looking at that and then after next week we're going, going to be headed into the uh, New Testament. Hope everybody has a good week. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week.